Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Before we jump in, I want to give a quick shout out to Etcha Lab. They were kind enough to send me two new products to try out. The first is this gorgeous canvas sketchbook. And now this isn't the typical sketchbook size I'd use for sketching outdoors, but I feel like it's the perfect size for when I paint or practice my portraits. The second thing is this watercolour block. I believe they have hot press also, but I have the cold press one and I am very excited to use these two products. Now, today's sketch started like this and ended up like this. It has been non-stop raining for days here and as soon as I saw a sunny day I jumped at the chance to sketch this. This is in a park that my family and I have been coming to and I see this building often and I thought it might be interesting to try and sketch to try and get back into sketching with this building because it's in such a calm quiet area. This was my first time back sketching after three months and I felt very rusty and for some reason I had also chose to take a larger sketch pad. Usually what I do when I have a larger sketchbook than what I'm used to, I'll create a bounding box for myself. So just like, you know, a quick sketch of a box within the sketchbook, just so I give myself room because I have a tendency to keep sketching larger and larger and larger until I fill the whole thing. I love the fact that I didn't have to be careful of the gutter in the middle, but I'm thinking it might have been a mistake to take a new sketch pad, one that I'm not used to after a long time not sketching. I had a feeling that the building would be kind of tricky to sketch because it's more roof than actual building and there's more foliage and trees than actual building but I still wanted to try. As soon as I started with the sky it started raining so I had to continue the rest in the car. I have a video a while back of me sketching in the rain and I had a lot of people saying they wish I would have kept the rain sounds. I mean I'm not always in complete silence when I'm in the car, I've got music playing, I might be on a phone call. So with this one I tried my best to stay as quiet as possible just so I could keep the rain sounds in. So I hope you enjoy the sounds of torrential rain. I hope that is some kind of, you know, ASMR for you guys. So the painting didn't actually turn out how I thought it would. And to be quite honest, I didn't enjoy the process of this either. Usually I'm of the mind that even if I don't like the outcome of the piece, I have usually enjoyed the process in sketching. This I didn't enjoy. I think it was because I felt a little on edge with the weather change, the light changes. Um, I had to finish the last few touches at home and then at one point I had to move my car. I have kept feeling like a tree was gonna fall on me so it was a lot and I felt flustered, everything felt kind of cumbersome. I was using a different sketch pad like I've said. All these different issues. <laughs> I do like how it turned out but personally I think it looks better on camera than it does in person. The one takeaway I did get from this is that next time, if I do use this, I will definitely try and use a bounding box for myself within the sketchbook so I don't keep making the sketch larger and larger. All this being said, if you do like this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.